back in the uh, the main event. Does that, does, that, does that mean anything? Does that do anything when they say, hey, we want you in a main event? Does that get you any more excited? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, it's, still, it's still better than to be on the card. <laughs> <laughs> does it come with any perks? I mean, you get like a, a better hotel room or, uh, you know, a, a, a first class flight? Is, it, is there any, is there any tangible stuff of being in the, in the main event? I'll, I'll see that, but first class uh, flight is always. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. But when they called you to make the move, what was your reaction? Did you instantly say yes, or did you have to think about it, talk to some people? I mean, uh, yes, we think about it, but it didn't take uh, that long because it was just like one month, one week uh, earlier and um, no change, you know, so we agreed to fight. What about the fact that you go from three rounds to five rounds? Does that does, does that play into your decision at all? Uh, no, at all, because uh, I don't think anyway. I don't think this fight gonna go to five rounds, and uh, at that time we still have time to adjust everything, you know. So uh, it was okay. Do you train differently when it's a three round fight versus a five round fight? Yes, of course, uh, because he he might you know you never know if ever he go up to uh, four or five rounds so. He needs more resistance. Yeah. But you, you're like everybody else, I guess, right? So this is this is not going this is not going five rounds. No, I, I'm not saying that that way. <laughs> what do you think about the matchup? I mean, you guys were supposed to fight before, obviously. Did, was this a fight that you always wanted and, and, and wanted to have? Because it, it looks fun. Yes, I called for this fight a very long time ago. Then uh, actually uh, last uh, 2017, I was supposed to fight him in the UFC 215. Then uh, we get some kind of some issues. It didn't happen. Then when they tell me about, they tell me about it again. It was just the the perfect timing. I know you like boxing. I mean, do you think he's the best boxer in the heavyweight division? Uh, I think I'm a best best boxer in the heavyweight division, and uh, I'm gonna prove it. Uh, on the 29th, because yes, he's a very good boxer, but I have to show that I'm better, I'm best than him. Nice. Do you, is this a number one contender fight? You think it seems like it could be? Do you feel like this this is a number one contender fight? It should be. I mean, uh, I was expecting title fight before, so uh, since they didn't give me that, and uh, we are number, I'm number two, he's number three, so um, and the first and charm they're fighting. So I think the winner of this fight will take the winner of that one. Do you do you worry about that fight? I mean, if DC wins, do you think he's gonna I, fight I again? Or? I'm not worried about it. The only thing that I worry about is to win this fight because I know after this one I'm gonna fight for the title fight. Yeah. Who do you think wins that fight? Do you know? It's very tough because uh, despite everything, I don't. I think this uh, that this fight gonna be. Um, it's not going to be like a first one, you know, it's not going to be the, f in the first round knockout. This fight might last more than one round and it's going to be uh, very tough for both of them because everyone will go there to give it all and uh, it's going to be very tough. I mean, it's tough to, to determine who's going to win. You think it could be DC's last fight, win or lose? Do you think it's his last one? It's up to DC. We, know, we, we we don't know exactly what's going on with DC. We have heard a lot of things about DC, so we don't we are not, we don't know. It, it wouldn't mean more to you to, to win the title against Stipe. Um, either way, I'm gonna fight Stipe back. So this is the point. Yes, win the title against Stipe, you'll be yes. Like take it where I, where I live. I live it. Yes, he'll be great, but. Either way, DC or uh, DC two is a good matchup before you retire. When you started MMA in 2013, Junior was already was already a champ. And uh, have you ever watched his fight? Do you ever look up to him? Yes, exactly. Uh, at that time, I went on uh, YouTube. Then I started to watch a uh, fight. It was Junior, Ken Velasquez, Brook Lesnar, Alisto Verim, and that was kind of like the four pick that uh, was it. At the, in the top at the time, then I'm like, oh, if I end up fighting this guy, that means I'm great too. So I'm keep pushing, you know. I got two of them, I'm still ch chasing. <laughs> How does it feel to, to finally fight him? Uh? How does it feel to finally fight him? You know, uh, at this point, it's just, you know, it's another fight and uh, it's kind of like a part of dream accomplishment, but not yet, but 
you know, it's, it's great, it's cool. You know, you have a good matchup, you have a guy who's going to bring you adversity, and uh, it's a good challenge. If you win this fight, you're probably going to be the only heavyweight to beat Cain Velasquez and Junior Dos Santos in this division. Yes, but that doesn't mean nothing. I want to be the only fighter I've been the champ for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Francis, after the uh, uh, Stipe fight, you went right back to knocking people out early and finishing fights quickly. But if, uh, if this fight does end up going into championship rounds, uh, is there anything since the Stipe fight that you've altered in training, anything like that, that makes you feel like you, you would be you know, better prepared for a long, lengthy fight if it happens? Uh, you know, it's all, it's, it wasn't just about like training and everything, you know, training for this sport is most, I would say, 40% of the fight. And uh, the rest is how you prepare your fight, you know, everything around. That's something very important. That, uh, that's some fact that I didn't know how to handle it before. And I have learned uh, a lot since that past fight. We've always watched Dos Santos win his fights as a great boxer, but of course he is a jiu-jitsu black belt. Do you think there's any chance at all that he tries to test you on the ground? Uh, the first of all, I don't believe that jiu-jitsu black belt. No? Yes, uh, I don't believe Dos Santos jiu-jitsu black belt. I don't know where he's from, but you know, I don't believe that. And I don't mind that at all. Uh, but you know, you never know what some fighter is going to come up with. I don't. I, we keep thinking maybe you try some wrestling to take down, but it's not his comfort zone. But I don't know. He might try everything, but uh, the most important is like I'm, I'm prepared for every level. Why do you feel like he's not a real black belt? What is it? I have saw watched his fight, his fight, and uh, saw him in. A lot of position that I will have done different, even knowing that I'm not a black belt, then I have a doubt about it. You experienced a lot of emotions uh, in and out of the octagon. It seems everybody was on the bandwagon. They were saying that you were unbeatable. Uh, and then people started to doubt you at some point. What, did, what do you take from that? I mean, did it give you more resolve to, uh, to, to, to prove the point that you are the best? Uh, that was the first time that I have to doubt me. They always doubt me when I was in Cameroon, when I was a year older and said I'm going to be a world-class uh, boxer, I'm going to be, you know, in the uh, high level. <laughs> Nobody believed in that. Even my mom told me, hey, kid, I love you, but forget that. Uh, come, come down, you know. I'm always going to support you, but come down to the reality. So uh, they always doubt me. Uh, my first box, amateur boxing match, I just take my staff, go without telling nobody because I didn't, I have a, I didn't tell people anymore about what I'm doing. They was just like, oh, forget about that. You can't do it. You can't make it. I'm like, then at some point I get alone in it. They was doubting about me. Today they are the first uh, supporter. They are the one that tell me that you're gonna be the man. You are the man. What did you think about seeing Usman and, and Adesanya? What have you thought of I mean, did they inspire you at all? Did you feel pride at all in, in their victories? Yes. I think uh, Usman won. That one was the greatest one. Yes. That one, like, uh, he inspired me. He very, <laughs> he pushed me out of there. I'm like, yeah, I have to be in this, in this cycle. You talked about other people doubting you. When, when you had two straight losses, did you have any doubt about yourself? Did you ever have to deal with that? Uh, it was a hard time, you know. Um, Sometimes you have to debate with yourself how to handle things, how to do things back. But uh, the thing is, I never really doubt about about myself. It was tough, it was hard, but I knew I can. And I keep it that I keep that thought. How, how much how much different do you feel mentally now? You know, having won two fights and kind of you know worked your way back up. Yes, you you know you have the taste uh, you have uh, the taste of the win back. So you feel a little different. You feel way more comfortable when you're thinking about fight. It's different things.
We've seen you uh, train here at the UFC Performance Institute, also at a Trico Tour and sometimes Syndicate. Where do you train for this camp? Uh, everywhere, as you said. <laughs> yeah, at the Performance Institute, at the Extreme Couture, uh, some boxing gym in town, everywhere that uh, I can find uh, um, what I want. Extreme Couture, you have uh, Roy Nelson as a, as a sparring partner, who's the guy that fought. Uh, JDS, is he able to give you kind of any insight into his style? Have you studied uh, his previous fights mm, leading up to this? No, we haven't talked about that. We haven't talked about that kind of stuff. You still work with Dewey Cooper? Yes, of course. He's going to be on my corner. In that, in that fight against uh, Cain Velasquez, did you think you would win the way that it happened you know, in the first round? And how important was to get that knockout in the first round? Uh, so how important was it? I mean, first of all, it was very important to win the fight. So I was happy for it. And uh, I don't know, at some point I I have this feeling like I'm happy and maybe a little bit frustrated, like, okay, the fight should last me a little bit longer than I can show that I improve. And uh, at some point I'm like, well, never mind. <laughs> Uh, the most important thing is to win, and you get it, so it's okay. What was it like for you to meet uh, Shaquille O'Neal? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I never met somebody so big. So it's not just tall, it's like very big. I wanted to take picture with him, then I'm like, want to catch his shoulder, like my hand was uh, in the, in the ha on his back. I couldn't <laughs> catch his shoulder. It was just like, then I'm like, yeah, I feel, now I feel how some people feel about me. <laughs> <laughs>